it's weird when I get into a, like a, a new car and that's why I like doing builds like this, whether I'm like a specialist in that type of vehicle or not, it's a, a great opportunity for me to like find the other parts out there. And I find myself getting like lost in things that are produced in Japan. <laughs> and like two, three years ago, like I would source these things for my own car and now they're really hard to get. But then you start finding other chassis and the cool little things that were standard equipment in Japan, like electric folding and mirrors in 95. My car came equipped with that back then. They made Del Souls that were real wheel drive in Japan. I would have never known. It's very rare, and they've been turned into racers because it's a fucking demon then. I mean, flip it around. It's, cool. Yeah. It's, it's cool to see the market. Be, besides the power trains top, where the top comes out and... That is... I. There's a lot of cars. I out don't there. want that though because it takes up half your trunk. It weighs more True. and it scratches your roof half the time. It is cool. Um, anytime I remember, I had a buddy who had like a Z28 Camaro. And it was the coolest fucking car ever, and we'd always cruise in it. And uh, T tops. Okay. Oh, they had like the bags, and you could put them in the trunk. And he was always careless, and he like mm -hmm. just throw them back there, and we go cruise. And next thing you know, we're doing like 120, and we're just having a blast. And uh, we got to my buddy's cabin. And uh, he was like, dude, let's put the T-tops on. It's going to rain tonight. I went to go pull it out. And he, like, chipped the corner of the T-top because he just let him roll around in the back of his car. Oh. And I'm like, dude, you are screwed. You have no idea. That's And so right. I've never bought, like, a T-top car because I'm afraid I'm going to, like, break that stuff. My sunroof on my Nissan is, like, removable. And, like, I'll lose it somehow. It's this big. A few years ago, they made a clear top for my Del Sol. An acrylic clear top. That would be cool in the rain. Yes. Um, I'm also told it sucks because it gets hot as fuck. Oh, I bet you it's like a magnifying glass because it has it's like a little a bit of an arch and, into it. Yep. Oh, can you imagine <laughs> cruising? All of a sudden you're like, ah, ah, ah. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> what's that smell? It's my skin. <laughs> or like burning your hair too hot to touch. <laughs> Just in the spot. <laughs> um, I, I always thought it would be cool to have like a clear hood or like an acrylic okay. hood. My like my car personally is like very nice well, to look do at on all the, the supercars when I put the engine in the back yeah. seat. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine how much something like that costs? Like I I had a friend back in the day that um used to vacuum mold like RC car bodies out of acrylic. Um and I'm sure that's probably how they do like hoods and large tops like that. Well, no, I was just thinking an acrylic top wouldn't be that hard. It's like, a pretty like simple a, shape. An acrylic hood. You, you can pick any car. Like that one even, that Grand Cherokee, intricate hood, that'd be easy though. You take it to uh, ATM in Vegas, uh, fish tank people. They make all their fish tanks custom. They have the heating, they have a heating oven bigger than this room. And you just make a mold of the hood and sand and they put it in there and it melts down in. There's your sheet metal copy, but it's made out of acrylic. No shit. So he's like, fuck, you just gave me an idea. Well, it's like, I have a lot of ideas. And the thing that I really feel holds me back is where we live. And um, over the last couple of years, I've tried to do a lot better with like my people networking. You know, who do you know? How do you meet people? What do they do? How can you network with them to help each other? Um, and I just always felt like I was a little bit limited in this part of the country. You know, because you go south, there's people yeah. that do all kinds of stuff. So that you just don't see around here. What I found, I used to think that too, but now with the internet, what you can do Aww. is just, even if you lived in town, the next right down the road from them, you would still have to email them to get. That's a fact. So as long as you email them and they're like, yeah, we can set up a meeting and you're willing to fly, drive, go there. It doesn't matter where you are. And so that shouldn't be a, how do you meet people like that? Uh, to start with, I go to a trade show, and there's a couple hundred people there, and then you press palms and give their cards, and then they bug you nonstop till you buy shit from yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, surprisingly, then if I'm looking for something they don't carry, I'm very frank with them. I'm like, well, I'm really looking for blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, no, I don't carry that for whatever reason. But I got no someone that does. I'll give you his number. I'll have him call you. And... Two or three of those hops later, I actually have Delta 10 in my stores. Right. <laughs> you know, you know I, 
I feel like there's a lot of conventions like that in the automotive industry. I just maybe I'm missing them, and just I should spend more Take time one. going to Go one. one. I think PRI is a big one. They're tax deductible. I mean, well, yeah, they really are. Yeah. Mm. Their hotel room, <laughs> your travel pay, your food, your food along the way. Uh, food they they throw it's, a hissy yeah, about yeah, because yeah, you have yeah. to eat the food anyway that day. So where you are doesn't matter. Hmm. But unless your company has a per diem system, hmm. but your travel, your room. Do I have to have a per diem system if I'm the only guy that's going to use it? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. And you have to justify why you just couldn't, that you normally don't eat McDonald's and fast food and, and the extra cost difference. And it's just not worth it. But hmm. but your hotel room and travel pay and gas and We'll write the rest stuff. of that stuff up. Yep. Might as well. Now, while you're out there at the show, you know, you can, on your off time, if you want to go to a real show or see the site to be a tourist, that's authorized too by IRS. So, because hmm. that's in your off time. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, interesting to realize what you can write off in lieu of doing business. You know? And 100% legal. Yeah. 100% lawyers are write off now. Really? Thanks to Obama. So, all your lawyer bills, 100% write off. Hmm. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Hopefully, we won't need one anytime soon. Yeah. I always thought it'd be cool to have like a clear hood or like an acrylic okay. hood. My, like my car personally is like very nice well, to look at. they do all the supercars and I put the engine in the back yeah. seat. Yeah, like, can you imagine how much something like that costs? Like I, I had a friend back in the day that um, used to vacuum mold like RC car bodies out of acrylic.